good, man. He's good. <laughs> Welcome back to Daytona. The first qualifying race is over, and Jeff Gordon has made a triumphant return to victory lane at the Daytona International Speedway. High fives from his crew, a hug from his car owner, and the celebration for the DuPont team at Daytona is underway. Congratulations. Outstanding race. Oh, man, what an exciting day. Uh, man, I tell you, Junior, he's something else. He, uh, he gave me a heck of a fight. I had my hands full there. The car just drove so good all, all week long and really all winter long. These guys at Hinder Motorsports done such an awesome job preparing these cars. Uh, really want to thank DuPont for having such an incredible company that they've been around for 200 years. And this uh, 200th anniversary car, this our 500 car, won that third spot, and we got it. So uh, this is awesome. You told us in the pre-race you wanted to start behind your teammate the car you co-own and you will yeah i'm very excited about that uh, you know i don't know what happened to jimmy out there it looked like he was doing real good there at the beginning i don't know if he got shuffled out but you know that's just a, a lesson for him and and uh, he's going to be he's going to be really good uh you know by the time we get to sunday but i'm just so excited about my race team i can't believe that we've come back you know, and, and, and after a 2001 season like we had, and, and we're off to such a great start here. And uh, the car is just phenomenal right now and uh, makes my job a whole lot easier. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Uh, this is the best chance we've had in a long time to win a Daytona 500. Congratulations. See you Sunday. All right. We'll see you Sunday. That's Jeff Gordon. He's in victory lane, but he's not the only winner. Let's go to Matt Yoakum. Bill Gordon may have raced in the victory lane, but Brett Bodine has raced into the 500. Can you even describe how big of a relief it is now, Brett? Wow, it's huge. I tell you, with 15 to go, I wouldn't have given you a nickel, a plug nickel for it because we were so far back and we just we weren't making any ground. And all of a sudden, uh, Bill pushed up and I got in front of him. And uh, how about that, dude? Uh, Bill pushed up and I got in front of him. And that's what I need. Someone pushing me. And then I just made the holes for him. And, you know, we marched ourselves right back up into a qualifying spot. Congratulations. You're in the 500. Now let's go to Dave. And standing by with Rick Mast right now, who did not make the field. Rick, how close are you to making it in on points or speed at this point? You know what? It, we, we've been in such trouble since I've been here. I'm not even going to pay any attention until it's over and see. <laughs> Once it's over, they can tell me if we're in the race or not. I mean, we, we struggle with the car, kind of get up to speed. And, uh, you know, here, as these guys up top know, when you're in the middle of that draft, especially early in the race, you got to make your move then. The problem with my car, I get like two car lengths behind somebody. It was a big buffer zone to hit the car. I couldn't keep tucked up under the guy in front of me. And that, in turn, enabled cars to get in front of me, you know, in the, in the draft, and they would shuffle you right to the end of the line. And then once they lined up, it, it would take me on back. But uh, Daytona's gut-wrenching, but uh, it's still fun. He'll find a place to watch and wait to see if he makes it. Alan? Jeff Gordon wins. Brett Bodine is in. Rick Mast. He's got a nerve-wracking hour and a half or so ahead of him. Here are the results from qualifying race number one. And it was impressive to see Ricky Rudd in that group get up to, and Ricky Rudd finished in fourth position. Kyle Petty also with a nerve-wracking 90 minutes ahead of him. 97 cars up here too. Kyle Busch, he, he had to get in a real important race for him. Start setting the stage for race number two when we come back in just a minute. Back at Daytona, qualifying race number one is over. Some drivers are celebrating their secured spot in the Daytona 500. Others are about to get a real bad case of nerves. Matt, which side of that coin is your guest on? Well, Kurt Busch can take a big sigh of relief. He's in the 2002 44th running of the Daytona 500. He did a lot of work out there. It seemed like a lot of work. We just minded our P's and Q's, and I knew if we worked as hard as we could on the car, and I drove it as smart as I could, that we'd end up in the show. You just talked to your teammate, Jeff Burton. What would you tell him? He's a great guy. I just thought I'd say hello and good luck to him. But I just, you know, trying to help out all the Roush cars, just trying to get us up to speed. We know we're behind. We've been working at it. We're gaining. We're making some strides. And I just got to thank all the Rubbermaid veteran-type guys now for more, more marching forward. He finishes seventh today. Marty? And Matt, uh, with Richard Petty, Kyle Petty uh, changing clothes right now and obviously uh, a little bit upset. What did uh, Kyle say happened with the race car and how worried are you about the next race? Do you feel comfortable with a 27th fastest speed? Yeah, you, you're worried about the speed. That's the only thing to get him in. He said the car just, after a few laps, it just got to push so bad it couldn't go anywhere. And he's just tore all the pieces and we are, you know, because the car's a lot better than what we showed. So, uh, you know, it's not a good way to start the season. It's definitely not a good way to start the season again. They have the 27th fastest speed in qualifying time. Robin Pemberton, the team manager, told me that they are pretty confident that will make the race. Dave? Mike Wallace had two top ten finishes here at Daytona last year. Marty, Mike, great job out there. How good is your car for the 500? My car is good. It got a little uh, slide in the front end right there at the end a little bit, you know, and I was I thought I could go for third and uh, got tagged to the back, you know, but uh, 
you know, thank to Otto Lee for coming on, on board for this race with their side curtain airbags, and uh, hopefully we can keep them on board the rest of the year, or we need a sponsor to go under Rockingham. Mike Wallace also has a Craftsman Truck Series win here. He hopes for the 500 win on Sunday. Alan? They are getting the cars ready for qualifying race number two back inside the NASCAR Winston Cup Series garage. They've already been inspected. They're lined up and about ready to be rolled out onto the track. We'll come back with more NASCAR action from Daytona in a minute.